Isang magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Magandang buhay. Narito na naman po tayo para i-discuss ang ating bagong topic. Uh, pero bago po niya, do not forget to subscribe into my YouTube channel para update po sa mga lectures. Uh, for the conversion, conversion from binary to decimal. Paano nga ba siya gawin? So, ang sabi niya, the binary system is the internal language of electronic computers. So, these are the steps how to use positional notation. So, we have 10011011. And I may be sign 2. So, first, write down the binary number and list the power of 2 from left to right. So let's say we we want to convert the binary numbers 10011011 base of 2 to decimal first write it down then write down the powers of 2 from right to left so you start at 2 raise to 0 degrees no raise to 0 not 0 degrees raise to 0 I will reading it as 1 so, increment the exponent by 1 from each power. So, it stops, stop when the amount of elements in the list is equal to the amount of digits in the binary numbers. Or number, I mean. So, the example number 10011011 has 8 digits. So, the list with 8 elements would like look like this 128 364 32 16 8 4 2 1 4 2 1 so paano po ba nangyari yan di ba remember ilan to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so magi start tayo 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 3 para ganito so yan di ba yan oh di ba so Ko ilan to? 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Bakit 2? Kasi ito yung 2 yung base niya, di ba? Binary nga, binary. So, so ito yan. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 yung ating card. Yan. So, pag nirace natin, 2 to the 7 is 128. 2 to the 6 is 64. 2 to the 5 is 32. 2 to the 4 is 16. 2 to the 3 is 8. 2 to the squared is 4, 2 to the 1 is 2, and 2 to the raised to the 0 is 1. So, yan, di ba? Okay, next step, write the digits of the binary number below the, the corresponding powers of 2. Yung yung ginawa natin kanina. So, now, just write 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 below the numbers. So, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2, and 1. So, that each binary digit corresponds with each power of 2. So the 1 to the right of the binary number should correspond with the 1 on the right of the listed powers of 2 and so on. So you can also write the binary digits above the powers of 2 if you pre prefer it that way. So what is important is that they match up. You know, important is lahat. Okay. So, for example, diba, ito yung ating 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So, so diba, yan yung ating kinong nerace kanina. So, diba, ito yan. Ginawa natin kanina yan, diba? So, next. Connect the digits in the binary number with their corresponding powers of 2. So, the row line starting from the right, connecting each consecutive digit of the binary number to the power of 2. That is next is the least above it. Begin by drawing a line from the first digit of the binary number to the first power of 2 in the first least above it. Then draw a line from the second digit of the binary number to the second power of 2 in the least. Continue connecting each digit with each corresponding power of 2. This will help you visually see the relationship between the two sets of numbers. Yan, for example, di ba yan? So, i-connect lang natin sila yan, di ba? Yan. 
So, baka nga nani-raise natin to bawat isa. So, ito nakuha natin. So, ito yung ating yan. Rotation binary numbers. Ayan. So, step 4. Write down the final value of each power of 2. So, move through each digit of the binary number. If the digit is a 1, write its corresponding power of 2 below the line under the line the digit. If the digit is a 0, write 0 below the line under the digit. So, since 1 corresponds with 1, it becomes a 1. Since 2 corresponds with 1, it becomes 2. Since 4 corresponds with 0, it becomes 0. Siyempre, any number that moves by 0 is 0. So, since 8 corresponds with 1, it becomes 8. Since 16 corresponds with 1, it becomes 16. So, 32 corresponds with 0, it becomes 0. And 64 corresponds with 0, and therefore becomes 0. While 128 corresponds with 1, so it becomes 128. Paano ba yan? Ganito yan. So remember ito. 128 times 1 is 128. 64 times 0 is 0. 32 times 0 is 0. 16 times 1 is 16. 8 times 1 is 8. 4 times 0 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. And then 1 times 1 is 1. So ito yung ating sagot. Next, step 5, add the final value. So now, the, add the, line, the number written below the line. So here, what's it to do is 128 plus 0 plus 0 plus 16 plus 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 155. So this is the decimal equivalent of the binary number 10011011. So we have here, di ba? Yeah, add natin silang lahat. Ayan. So pag inad mo yan, meron kang makukuha na 100. 55. So, yan yung equivalent na value ng itong binary numbers natin. So, write the answer along with base subscript. So, now all you have to do is write 155, 10 for the decimal procedure. So, show that they are working with the decimal answer. So, which must be operating in powers of 10. So, the more you get used to converting from binary to decimal, the more easy it will be you to for you to memorize the power of 2. So, and you'll be able to complete the task more quickly. Yan, di ba remember for here yan? Ito yung final answer natin. So, 155 base of 10. Yung subscript niya. For example, use this method to convert a binary number with a decimal point to decimal form. So, we have 1.1 base of 2. So, you can use this method when you want to convert a binary number such as 1.2, no, 1.1 base of 2 to decimal. So, all you have to do is know the number on the left side of the decimal is in, in the unit's position like normal, while the number of the right side of the decimal is in the half's position. For example, 1 times 1 half. For example, diba? So, get yan. So, the, the one to the left of the decimal point is equal to 2 raised to 0. Or 1, kasi any number that raises 0 is 1. So, the one to the right of the decimal is equal to 2 raised to negative 1, which is 0 0.5. And add up 1 and 5, and you'll get 1.5, which is equivalent to 1.1 de decimal notation. Diba? So, parang ganito yan. So, 1... 0.1, so 2 raised to 0, yan, 2 raised to 1, so pag kinuha natin, 1, hmm, in time is 1, kasi 2 raised to 0 is 1, di ba? Plus, and 2 raised to negative 1 times 1 is 0 0.5, so we have, pag in natin yan, we have 1.5 base of 10 because of the procedure natin, decimal form. So, yun yun, di ba? E, paano naman daw ang paano gamitin ang doubling? So, first, write down the binary numbers. Yun ginawa natin. So, this method does not use powers. As such, it is simpler for converting a large number in your head because you only need to keep track of a subtotal. So, the first thing you need to do is to write down the binary number. You'll be converting using a doubling method. Let's say that the number you're working is 10110011. We have base 2. So, in subscript, write down. Okay. 
So, second step, starting from the left, double your previous total and add the current digit. So, since you're working with the binary number 101101, base of 2, your first digit all the way on the left is 1. So, your pre previous total is 0. So, since you haven't started yet, you'll have to double the previous total, 0 and add 1. So, the current digit is 0 times 2 plus 1 is equal to 1. So, your current total is 1. For example, in here. So, ayan yung gawa natin, di ba? Remember. So, mag-start tayo sa 0. Ang sabi dyan, i-double lo natin itong 0. So, and then, magpa-plus tayo ng 1. Ayan, which is equal to 1. Di ba? Yan yung umpisa natin. So, next step. So, double your current total and add the le next leftmost digit. So, your current total is 1 now and the ca ca new current digit is 0. So, double 1 and add 0. So, 1 times 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. So, your new current total is 2. Paano yan nangyari? Here. For example, ito yung natin, di ba? So, 1. Ito yung 1 na yan, ilalagay mo dito. Ito, double mo siya. Di ba? Plus, 0. Ito yun, no? 1 tsaka 0 na yun. So, equals 2. O, di ba? Nakukuha nyo? Okay. Next step. So, repeat the previous step. Just keep going. Next, double your current total and add 1. Your next, uh, your next digit. So, 2 times 2 plus 1 is equal to 5. Your current total is now 5. Okay. For example, ito yung ginawa natin kanina, di ba? So, Yung 2, ilalagay natin dito. So, pag lagay natin ng 2 dito, ito double natin siya uli. So, pagka-double niya, magpa-plus 1 tayo. Kasi ito yon yung 1 na yun, di ba? So, equals, ilan? 5. O, di ba? Nakukuha nyo? Sa madali lang, di ba? Next, ganun uli. So, double your current total, which is 5, and add the next digit of 1. So, we have 11. So, your new total is 11. Okay. So, ito yung ginawa natin kanina. So, yung 5, balagay natin dito. Ito, double daw uli natin. Plus, ano yung susunod ng 1 dito? 1 uli. So, equals 11. Uh, di ba? Nakita mo ito. 1 na ito, 0, 1, and 1. So, 11. Di ba? Next, repeat uli tayo ng ganung step. So, double your current 11 and then add 0. So, equals 22. Yun yung bago nating sagot. So, check na ulit natin. Ginawa natin kanina. So, 11. Double to 11. Plus, ano kasunod ng 1 is 0. So, we have equals to 22. Ayan, 22. So, next step. Repeat ulit natin. Double your current total. And add 0. So, we have 44. So, paano yung ginawa? So, 22. Ito yun. Plus, or times 2, double down natin. Plus, ano susunod sa 0? Another 0. Which is equal to 44. Diba? Now, next step. So, continue doubling your current and total and adding the next digit until you run out of digits. Hanggang maubusan natin. So, now you're down to your last number and are almost done. So, all... All you have to do is take your current total, which is 44, and double it along adding 1. So, the last digit, which is 44 times 2 plus 1 is equal to 89. You're all done. So, you converted 1011001 base of 2 to decimal notation to its decimal form, which is 89. So, paano nangyari? So, sabi dyan, yung 44, i-double daw natin, magpa-plus tayo ng... 1, kasi 1 ito, di ba? Yan. Which is equal to 89. So, madali lang, di ba? Okay. So, you're right to final answer. We have to show that you're working with a decimal, so, which has a base of 10. So, kailangan, yung final answer mo, yung 89 with base of 10. So, madali lang, di ba? Okay, next. I'll use this method to convert A from any base to decimal. So, for example, the doubling is used because the given number is base of 2. If the given number is a, of different base, replace the 2 in the method with the base of the given number. For example, we, if the given number 
is in the base of 37. So you, you replace the the times 2 with times 37. So the final result will be in decimal. So we have the base of 10, for example. So di ba? 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, base of 37. So kanina ginawa natin, times 2. Do, do, double natin. Ngayon, 37 ang gagawin natin. So 0, mag-umpisa tayo 0, times 37, plus 1, which is equal to 1. Kasi 0 times 37 is 0. So plus 1 is equal to 1. Ngayon, yung 1 na yan, ilalagay natin dito. So, 1 times 37 plus 2. So, we have 39. So, in 39 yan, ilalagay ulit natin dito. Times 37 plus 3. What's equal to? 39 kasi times 37 plus 3 is 1,446. So, this will be your final answer. With base of 10, do not forget that. Kailangan may base of 10 tayo. So, di ba, napakadali lang ang ating gagawin kung paano mag-convert ng binary to decimal. So, these are the things na hindi na dapat makalimutan. So, first, you have to check kung anong base kasi doon ka mag... mag uh, yun yung gagamitin mo na multiplier, yung base na yan. I hope na naintindihan nyo. So, see you ulit sa susunod na lecture natin. Maraming salamat sa mga nanonood. Okay, thank you. Ciao!